Tim Collins with Coleman today. I'm out of Smith Lake with Jackson with Towboat USA. Jackson, you pulled a wrecker out of Smith Lake this morning. T tell us what this is about and how, how it came into being. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, we got in contact uh, with, by the Alabama Marine Police and Alabama Power uh, for a hazard of navigation out here in front of Smith Lake Park. And uh, we came out here, took a look at it, and uh, partnered up with Law uh, Record Service and uh, got it removed this morning. You did, and I, I assume that uh, divers went in to check it out beforehand, is that true? We did. We came out last week, did uh, put some lift bags on it, moved it around a little bit. Uh, the water level is a little bit too shallow for us to utilize our lift bags properly. I'm out with uh, dapperly dressed Doug Davenport, Parks Director for Coleman County Parks and Recreation. Well, this doesn't happen very often, Doug. You just had these guys drag a tow truck out of Smith Lake. Now, that's kind of an unusual thing there, uh, Tim. Probably won't ever see that again in our lifetime, but due to the low level of water, it's really a dangerous situation out there right now. There's all kinds of boats and metal and you know debris just floating around people need to be uh, aware of. Well, my understanding is uh, that a, a, a boater ran over it. Yeah, or at least that, bumped into, and that's how it was discovered originally. Uh, that's correct, and he contacted Alabama Power, and I think they contacted uh, Tugboat USA, and it just kept escalating from that point. Now, when it came out of the water, it's uh, American Towing up on uh, I uh, Highway 69. I called the number, no longer in business. H how do we track down the original owner? Do you, is there a plan for that? Yeah, uh, I've called and notified uh, our park officer, and he'll contact them and get the VIN numbers off of it. I think the tag on it was had expired in 09. Now, I'm sure you've got the license tag. Do we know anything about the vehicle, its history? Is that? We don't have any idea of uh, how it got there, when it got there, or uh, why it's there. And I remember probably 10, 12 years ago, you could actually drive a vehicle across right here where we're standing, Tim. The water was down that low. But it's just kind of ironic Then less than 11 months, you know, we go from a historical flood to almost a historical drought. Well, I, I know we're both speculating, but how in the world does a tow truck get in the middle of Smith Lake? It didn't fly and just drop in. Uh, what's, your, what's your thoughts on how that might be possible? Well, that's what we were kind of wondering. From the location it was at, you know, I know in the past they used to, you know, use a barge to carry stuff over to Goat Island, or maybe it may have rolled off a hill somewhere and then, you know, the, the current, you know, carried it to that way. But it, for it to be sitting on all four tires or six tires and them still be holding air, you know, 10, 11 years, it's kind of ironic there. All right, well, let's talk to Mr. Lyle of Lyle Record Service. You guys came in from Haleyville for this job. You said you couldn't sleep last night and you were so excited. <laughs> well, we'd done it in our head a couple times over the weekend. Me and uh, my partner here, we rode over here Saturday morning, canoed out to it, kind of did a little survey, shot the distance from the bank, figured out it was roughly 114 yards from the water level, and uh, kind of got our plan together. Uh, we carry roughly 300 yards of cable on that truck, so we knew we were going to have to have a little bit extra. Got that together, got done some basic rigging. Uh, met over here this morning with Jackson and uh, had a little bit of drag dragging it out, but it wasn't that bad. Got it up to the bank, uh, got it up to the normal water line, picked it up so we wouldn't do any more damage on the line here, do any footprint, you know, leave any footprint. We don't like to do anything like that. And uh, basically just set it on our recovery trailer and get it off scene. Get well, it I've got to say that I've never seen a, a towing crew take a wrecker out of a lake and put it on a trailer, but you guys did that. It looked effortless, like like it was no problem. We've been in business since 1950, and this is the first wrecker we've ever recovered out of a lake. We've got anything from garbage trucks, 18-wheelers, a little bit of everything. If it goes in a lake, we've gotten it out over the years. Uh, and just another truck, it was a little bit heavier than we anticipated, but you, you all put, in all, it went I noticed you, you had to put some air in uh, the tires on your trailer there. Yes, sir. Just to make yes, sir. sure you get back. Well, we just, we, we've got about an hour drive back home and just make sure, you know, we didn't you. have any further problems. Well, thanks for talking to me. Good job. It was pretty smooth. Thank now, you. Now, let's get back to Jackson. We'll finish up. Now, Jackson, first off, tell us what happens to this vehicle now. Do, does it go to impound or is it scrap yard? Or do you know? Uh, this uh, vehicle will be scrapped. Uh, we got a little bit of information off of it. We'll do a little bit of research on it, and then it'll go to scrap. Now, tell us about Towboat US. What, what, what do you guys do? You're like the AAA for lakes and waterways. That's, that's right. my version of it. I don't know if that's true. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we offer a yearly membership uh, for boat owners. Uh, we go out and assist people. Um, but uh, it's basically like AAA on the water. We go out there, assist you, tow you back to wherever you need to go, and get you home safe and sound. 
And then we also offer uh, salvage uh, removal like we did today, uh, diving services, um, and uh, all sorts of different on water assistance uh, that programs. That's really neat. So how, if people want to sign up and learn more, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, they can go to our uh, website, which is uh, towboatussmithlake.com. Or give us a call at 256-307-1313. Jackson, thanks so much for taking time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're strange. And I, you know me, I got up in the cab there. No skeletal remains, so that's good news. It was just a tow truck. Yeah, I mean, we uh, somebody made that comment, and I was like, I didn't think of that, but I'm, I'm glad there wasn't a still uh, body in there. Well, Doug, uh, thanks for, for talking to me, and uh, it's a first for Smith Lake Park. Yeah, that's exactly right.